Hey there, and welcome to the Beginner's Guide to Levitation. This is the supported method, and in this video, we're going to show you how to take all of those different images you took of your subject, whether they're sitting on an object, they're interacting with something in your image, and we're going to show you how to remove those objects so it looks like they were levitating in the final photo. This tutorial is broken down into three different sections. We have our intro in planning, which we're going over right now. We have our combining our subject together, where we're going to take different photos of our subject and put them together using layer masking. And then we have our coloring and finishing touches, where we're going to show you how to really take your image even after you've created the levitation effect and bring it over the top. And thanks again for picking up this tutorial. We really appreciate you guys picking up your tutorials from learn.com to learn Photoshop and photography. We know you're going to love it. Let's get into the tutorial. Hey there, and welcome to section one of the supported method of Beginner's Guide to Levitation. In this section, we're going to be going over the introduction and planning. We're going to be bringing all the images that we need together and uh, showing you guys basically how to create a plan for the final image in Photoshop. So the first thing we need to do is uh, we need to get all of our images together here in Photoshop. So I'm going to go up here to File. We're going to go to Scripts, and we're going to go to Load Files into Stack. Now, here we want to choose Use Files. I'm going to hit the Browse button, and we're just going to go right into our Pro Tutorial. We're going to go to Tutorial Images, and we're going to go to Levitation 3, also uh, known as the Supported Method. And I'm going to shift click all of my images. So we've got five images together. Let's hit Open there. There we go. Now, the last thing I want to do is make sure to check Attempt to Automatically Align Source Images. Because the images were all taken on a tripod, we want to make sure they're all aligned and in the same place. Let's hit OK, and uh, basically Photoshop's just going to do some processing and get everything together, and um, then we'll take a look at what it all looks like. Mary's doing a pretty cool pose right there. Uh, <laughs> where is it? There we go. Being a champion. We're going to be using this um, just for her hair, actually. I always like to take uh, supplemental photos like this just for any details we need. Like if I needed details of her back, um, this would be really nice details of her back, but also her hair is going to be great as well. Okay, well, let's take a look at our photos. This is going to be our background, so 540 will be uh, the background of the photo. Now, we've got different photos for different areas of the image. We've got some photos that are going to be, uh, this photo will be for her arm, okay? This photo is going to be for her, for her head and her, the top area because the, the fog is really nice in that it separates her from the background. And this area will be for her legs. So. If anything, all the, you're going to learn how to do levitation, of course, because we're going to be re basically removing these objects. But we're also going to show you guys how to combine different areas of, of different photos. Like uh, in this case, our subject is actually going to be made up of, well, three photos for her body and then another photo for her hair. So, um, yeah, it'll be a really good lesson in, in how to combine all those things together. So let's go. we're going to start off by grouping things together and uh, getting a good sense of what uh, where everything is going to go. So let's take this photo, uh, 540, and uh, I'm going to hit Controller Command G on that, which is going to group it, and we're just going to call this layer background. So, or this group rather, it's going to be called background. Okay, now we are going to basically group each one of these um, with itself for now because they are going to be making up um, separate layers. Well, we can actually just group the three of those um, together as, um, yeah, you know what, let's just group them all together right now. Uh, shift click all of them, hit Command G, and we'll double click, and we'll call this subject. Okay, looking good. Now, because we had, um, when we brought everything together, we checked the option for automatically align source images, and if there are any variation between different images, it's going to change the, uh, the scale of some images. So you can see that this is actually moved just a little bit to, to fit in the image. So what that results in is sometimes you'll get a little bit of um, a little bit of like overlap just like that where the images are not um, you know all perfectly uh, framed and sometimes you'll get a little bit of area around your image. So we're going to take care of that with the crop tool. So we're going to hit C for the crop tool and we're going to bring in from each of these corners here just a little bit all right, 
There we go. And that's going to provide us with a, a little bit better of a crop. So let's hit that check button up at the top. And now we don't have any areas around the image. I do still have this little guy in the corner here, but we can take care of that with a uh, layer mask. Not a problem at all. Okay, so we're going to create a new layer. Let's just group this together and we'll call this extra. This is, we're going to do a, uh, create a quick plan here on the, on the image. It's going to help us get a good idea of, um, of what we're actually going to wind up doing throughout the tutorial. Okay, so our subject's body is going to be made up of, in fact, three different bodies. We've got um, her legs are going to be one photo. Um, her head is going to be another photo. Her arm is going to be another photo. And then, well, her hair is going to be another photo. So we've actually got four different photos that are going to wind up making up our subject. Um, in the meantime, we want to get rid of the stool that's back here that is supporting our subject. And we also want to get rid of that jug. So we're going to be showing you guys how to do that, making nice, accurate selections in order to, um, in, in order to ensure that it, it doesn't look like we just grabbed a brush tool and, you know, uh, <laughs> painted it away. We're going to have really great selections that, that really make it look as though it was, um, you know, perfect from, from the get go. Yeah, and then we're going to be doing just some other minor things like this little area here on the window. We're going to be get, getting rid of that and any other type of distractions. Um, we're going to be coloring this image. We're going to add some blue into um, into the sky back here and, and into the fog, which is going to help um, really add some nice contrast. We're going to have blue kind of coming from the window. We're going to have yellow from the floor and uh, some nice orange from the light. Um, we'll, we'll make this glow. There we go. That's the <laughs> that's the uh, glow symbol right there, just in case you didn't know that. Um, and then we're going to be coloring the rose as well. So we're going to have some red, yellow, and blue in this picture, which um, if you guys are into color at all, red, yellow, and blue tend to look very good together in, in photos. So that's why we're going to be doing that. And um, section two and section three uh, are going to be spent combining our subject together. So the majority of the tutorial will be doing that as well as uh, removing removing anything that we need to in the background. And uh, it's going to be a great tutorial. Looking forward to it. And uh, that's the end of section one. We'll see you in the next section.